Good morning. My name is Thiago Hack, and of course we are in 2020, otherwise I won't be wearing this mask. And welcome to one more episode of Morning Murals. Actually, the first episode of Morning Murals. Uh, I decided to call this Morning Murals because uh, my objective through this year, uh, the end of 2020, we are in October, and next year is every morning to paint a mural, at least on weekdays. Or to paint a part of a mural. I don't mean finish a mural, but paint, uh, painting on a wall. Why? Because I've been trying to organize my, um, my schedule and my daily routines and uh, sometimes I'm working in commissions, some other, most of times I'm actually working on commissions. Other times I have my studio time that I work to get commissions. And that time is kind of frustrating for me because I'm like making some sketches and uh, researching stuff, but it's mainly office work. I don't get to paint a lot. I get to sketch out ideas, to make some small sketches like like these ones. Uh, but here, what, where are they? Like these ones, you know, for uh, for eventual mural interventions. Those are the ones I'm gonna be painting on this bathroom with the little birds and flowers. And um, at that time, I don't deal very well with office time. And uh, as I want to be more proficient as a muralist, I want to paint murals every day. And last year, in 2019, I painted 100 murals. Some were really small, some were illegal in abandoned places, and some others were legal stuff, and uh, others were commissions. So, uh, it was the year that I probably progressed more on my painting skills as a muralist, and so I want to uh, continue that progress. And with COVID, I spent a lot of time doing office work and preparing my strategies and uh, how to get clients and uh, uh, applying to open calls and I end up not working, uh, not painting so much on murals which is quite frustrating. I painted a lot of plain air but that for me it's kind of um, it's kind of uh, learning how to paint, it's kind of painting exercises and where I I think it's the the one thing that will make me progress the most it's definitely painting walls every day. This is a different dynamic on painting walls. So, to be quick, why I call it morning murals? Because my new challenge to paint murals every morning, even on office days, unless I'm really, really busy with work, I'm gonna try to go out to these abandoned buildings and develop my strong, um, strong mural uh, portfolio. Also, like as a street artist, and not only as a commission muralist. So yeah, basically that's it. That's why I call it Morning Murals. And this morning we are in Jackie and Jay's house. They just bought a house. It's an American couple. They just uh, retired and moved to Portugal. And uh, the, uh, Jackie, she wants her bathroom to get a bit of life. And um, uh, now it's all wrapped up because I painted the, the pink part. It's a very subtle light pink. Um, that I think combines quite well with these tiles. The light is not optimal, but uh, I'll, I'll light this better in a bit. And she bought this marble sink, check this out. She ordered it hand painted by uh, an artist, a local artist, I don't know who it is, but who she is, but I, I'm gonna investigate. And she wanted something with these floral elements and uh, birds and uh, butterflies, uh, kind of this decorative vibe, very vintage, very, um, how to say, low contrasts uh, in terms of values and these soft, uh, creamy tones. She wants some on the walls. So basically, I already made some sketches, as I showed you before, a lot of them. And uh, today, I'm gonna be uh, arranging some little details on the edges of the ceiling. And uh, I'm gonna start sketching the 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 elements on the wall. Here's gonna be a big mirror. And, um, and there we're gonna start taking decisions. Uh, when Jackie will be back, uh, we will start taking decisions on the wall, like placing the elements uh, on different places on the wall and deciding the composition together. 
Uh, this is a different kind of mural because it's not uh, center based, it's not based on one wall, one piece. It's like a, a bathroom, a big space with full of uh, little corners and, um, and with uh, elements, ornamental decorative elements on the, on the wall. So yeah, I'll keep you updated, I'll, uh, I'll show you the progress and as we take the decisions as things move forward and maybe for now I'll show you some pictures of uh, what I painted some images of the sketches so you can see a bit the direction that we want to take it so basically we got a hummingbird she wanted a hummingbird uh, she has got one like there and uh, here is the hummingbird um, eating some something of the flower, some pollen, which the flower I made based on that one, although it has my, my touch and with my type of paint it, it holds differently. Then we got some elements, she quite liked this one, but I think we're not going to be able to make this color because the bathroom walls are already pink, and that will be pink on pink. Maybe it works because it's way darker pink. Uh, but maybe I'll propose to make it on white. That could look cool. Uh, there is some... Um, uh, I don't like the composition, but this is a passion fruit uh, tree. Although it doesn't look like... Uh, because of the composition, it's, it looks like a plant growing up and is not a vine. But it is a vine. I got some more reference images. Here is the, the color schemes of the blue. Basically, I've, I made this at home and we found out this square blue is the most similar blue to what's there. So I can work with more precision on the sketches. Some wooden elements could look good, like a tree appearing somewhere there, maybe back there. Types of green mixed with yellow and mixed, yeah, just green fading with yellow. Studies of colors, studies of types of leaves. Flowers, these flowers are based on those flowers. You know, it's different the way I paint than the lady painted, but I try to make the colors match and to make it not uh, kind of the same vibe. This one is not good. Here I try to paint some, some uh, plants, but with uh, non-green. It works well, but not for here because the, it's already a pink background. It's kind of grapes turning abstract, doesn't work well at all, uh, but the purple grapes work really well. Okay, this is definitely going to be used, a bit thinner branch coming from somewhere up there. Actually that side, it's, yeah, there somewhere on the, on the corner. And these colors combine really well, there is some touch of uh, uh, back, not backlights, but a shine of blue on the leaves, that is the same blue as the wall. So it, it reflects the environment color. These are some vines as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab some movement, some leaves, and, and, and uh, put it there somewhere, coming from the ceiling. A goldfinch, these little birds that's very famous. There are a lot in nature in Portugal. Could be good sitting here. Some more grapes and vines from the sky, there, from the ceiling. Not with this branch, but this is definitely something we're gonna use. I put a nice shade of blue as a base tone, and then I made the purple. Some experiments with types of green, that I mix yellow, or dark blue, or light blue, and the fading that it does, the pure green in the beginning, turning more and more with the color mixed, and then mixed with white. So yeah, it's cool to make this study so, um, so we don't make the strange decisions uh, on the wall when it's too late. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. As I said, uh, check it out. Morning murals with Tiago Hack. Hacking your walls with my paint.
Hello, my dear friends. We are on phase uh, one. After I painted all this um, thing on pink, uh, we sketched out very roughly with Jackie, the commissioner of this mural, some flowers here with chalk and some grapes. And I started painting this morning. I put some tape on it and uh, I was recording from very far away so you could not see but this is how it looks lovely grapes yeah I'm doing some branches now I need to do the, the trees you can see the outlines here uh, the trees not the leaves and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it I'm gonna keep on filming and uh, I'm gonna try to get a closer uh, plan so you can see better what I what I is doing in this paintings man Grape vines, I think it's gonna be fine. Then I'm gonna ask um, Jackie if she's happy with it or if she wants me to add something. Uh, I'll also, once the paint dries, I'll check uh, for color contrasts, uh, how it's um, playing out. Maybe I need to highlight some parts. And now I'm gonna go to this corner here 
where I'm going to paint some blackberries that in Portuguese is called amores and uh, it has the same color tones um, I'll darken a bit the green of the leaves put it more towards this this bluish uh, hue and um, it's blackberries so they are purple and red as well so I'm gonna add some red things uh, I'll show you the sketch so you can see which direction I'm taking I oh, yeah, have this here it is yeah this is gonna be it although I'm gonna put the branch going down so the leaves cannot face that way uh, but I have lots of reference images in the tablet and I'll mix them through so um, it gets a, a good mix of many different references this is my mess here I'm just cleaning brushes okay I'll put in time lapse again so you can see the advancements on this uh, fantastic mural painting